Okay, Beehive's going. I, I tried to get the start of it, but KB5, ZCS called me and interrupted the, interrupted my, I'm using my cell phone. We're on the live webcam. Beehive's going off. See it? I was on the cam making a video saying it was going to go off because I recognized the pre-steam right here out the side. And I was saying, I know Beehive's going to go off. And he called and it interrupted my video. So here it goes. But I was right. See it? Now we're way back, zoomed back, and it's kind of, it's a cold day up there, so I'm backing up here so you can see it. It's going off pretty good. It'll shoot water straight out of that thing for five minutes straight, and it's going to go higher than that. Beehive Geyser. Old Faithful's up here in front of it. This is Upper Geyser Basin back in here. You can see the boardwalk looping around in there and it goes back this way around the woods, around the side behind the woods over there. Way back in is Giant Geyser. Over here is Castle Geyser this way. Uh, this way over here is the Old Faithful Inn. Back this way over here is the Old Faithful Lodge. My cabin is over this way to the right. Oh, it's exciting. Can't wait to get up there. A couple more weeks. It doesn't look as crazy on cam as it is when you're standing back here on the boardwalk. Because you got to realize that that water's shooting up a couple hundred feet into the air. And like I said, it'll go for five minutes straight. You know, we couldn't get sound, but the sound's part of it too. And then the smell and the steam, and you know, everything's part of the whole experience. I knew it was going to go off. I was making the video. There's a the vent right here. When you when uh, beehive's going to go off, you'll see steam shooting out of that vent. You've got mail. So I knew. I love this cam because it's like having a window in the... I mean, how cool is that? This is like my favorite place on earth. And to have a live webcam, it's like having a window on here on my desktop, you know? It's just, that's a pretty cool thing. <clears throat> And it's in color, too. You just can't tell because of all the steam and everything today. It's pretty cold up there still. What a difference a few, a few weeks is going to make up there. It's still shooting steam. Still shooting steam. Still going. It's been uh, about two and a half minutes so far. It doesn't look high because we are backed off from the from we're way back from Beehive, but when you you got to realize when you're standing up here on the boardwalk, that's a couple hundred feet into the air there that it's, that it's shooting water at a high pressure for five minutes straight. It's an incredible amount of water that's coming shooting out of the earth. It, it's, if we could see some people standing back there, it would give us more of a it would give us more perspective on on the whole thing. To the right over this way, 
on top of the mountain there's a there's a lookout point up there that you can hike to. It's it's quite a long hike and it's very scary because it's grizz country. And I hike to that every year and go up to the observation point and can't bring dogs on those trails. So I do that when I get the cabin and I can tire them out, lock them in the cabin for three or four hours and go hiking by myself. I, I you know I'd rather have them with me, but you can't bring the dogs on those trails. And it's really scary going up into there because there's nothing that's going to protect you except your bear spray. And when you're up standing in here, she'll be steam, and it has a smell to it from the chemicals. And uh, you know the steam, the the moisture, the 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 sound, everything just churns into the experience that's watching a geyser, and it's it's all it's all into one thing. It, it's incredible. I love it up there. Now it's getting long. I'm gonna upload this. We're clear.